Hey, it's Tina. I help experts turn their IP into certification and licensing programs. So if you want to get yourself out of delivery, there is one thing you need to have in your business, and that is your framework, your methodology, your proven way of doing things, your system. When you don't have a clearly defined framework in your business, there's one of two things that can happen. Uh, first and foremost, delivery will stay all on your shoulders. If you are the only person in your business who knows how to serve your clients, that means you're the only one in your business who can serve your clients. And this can become exhausting over time. For those of you who are in a growing business, you've, you know, you're doing great work, clients love what you're doing, you're continuing to grow and expand, the people want more and more and more from you. At the end of the day, if you're the only one with the expertise, then you're the only, your business is gonna be capped by how much time and energy you have, let alone you feeling exhausted, tired, maybe even a little bit frustrated, burnt out or bored with what it is you're doing. The second thing that can happen without a solid framework in place is let's say you want to bring other people on board in the business to train other people to do what you do. This can be a great scaling model when you hit that bursting point of you can no longer handle the amount of work on your own. Well, great, let's bring some other people people in. If you don't have your framework, your framework taken out of your brain and in a way that's that's teachable, that's documented, that's easy for people to learn and follow, then what happens is you're going to rely on the expertise that they're coming to the table with right? You're going to rely on what they know how to do already. You're going to rely on expecting them to show up a certain way. And frankly, they may not be able to do what it is you need them to do. I see this happen a lot when people are building out agencies or, or hiring associate coaches, is you can find amazing people with great skill sets. They match the skills you're looking for, but they're not doing it the way you want it done. And that can cause a lot of problems and friction and you know, missed deliverables, not reaching certain standards, et cetera, et cetera. And I've seen some people get into some vicious cycles of, okay, I tried to hire this person. Oh, it didn't work out. All right, let me go find somebody else again. Oh, it didn't work out again. And so on and so on to the point where I also know people will say, well, forget it. I obviously have to continue to be the one to deliver services because no one can do it as well as me. Now that is only true as long as you keep your framework in your head. And believe me, I get and understand this. Many of us, myself included in the early years of my business, we, we just do what we do naturally. Right? We're not even having to think about it. We're just working with clients. We know what needs to happen next. We know how to handle challenges. We know how to create results. We're just showing up and naturally being ourselves and doing what we're doing. That's wonderful. But we, we need to be able to take that out of our brains and formulate it, right? If we're relying on instinct and then assuming or hoping other people will have that same instinct and ability that we have, that's where things fall apart. Building your framework requires us to pause, really consider, okay, how am I doing this? <laughs> what am I doing? What needs to happen first? What needs to happen next? What are the standards? What are the deliverables? What happens when a problem arises, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this might sound like a chunk of work. It certainly can be a chunk of work. I just want to be really upfront. But it's a chunk of work that has a huge payoff over time. If you continue to keep the framework in your mind, so to speak, and be the only one who can do what you do to deliver services to your clients, your business is going to stay where it is right now. And that might be fine too, right? You can make that choice and be totally fine with that. But if you're looking to grow and expand, if you're looking to maybe free yourself up to get into other things down the road, maybe you want to work less, maybe you want to work on other projects, maybe you just have some really big growth plans, then taking the time now to invest in creating that framework in really getting it out of your brain and into a teachable format, that is gonna pay off dividends for years to come, not just with building your own internal team, but especially if you're wanting to create anything like a certification program or a licensing program or something like that as well. There's so many amazing things that you can do with your framework. 
If you are curious about creating a certification or licensing program, go ahead and take my Ready, Set, Certify quiz, where I will ask you a series of questions and lay out for you my recommendations for next steps to create your certification program. You'll find the link here with this video, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye now.